Well, I read D Dangerous Places to Work. Uh, one of the dangerous pl places to work in this world happened to be at a chemical plant. And, uh, oh yes, petrochemical plant, um, uh, refining oil to gasoline, things like that. Oh yes, they are extremely dangerous because uh, crude oil is by itself, you don't want to fall into it. You don't want it on your skin. It's uh, dangerous. But at a plant, it, you, you're, putting, you're putting things like petrochemicals under pressure. And those uh, distilling units are under pressure. And uh, I've heard why one of my instructors told me that he worked at a petrochemical plant. He was walking around with this guy with arthritis. And he, they turned a, they turned a corner, and they saw a six-foot blue flame coming out out of a pipe. And the guy with arthritis turned around and said, "Run!" And they did. And they they hit the all the little red buttons in the place, which sets off the alarms and fire alarms and everything else as they were running. And uh, uh, they, 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 they foam the, the leak, okay? And they said, very simple, if it was sucked it back in there, a cracker would have blown. Yes, it's, it's very dangerous working at it. And you can get killed working in a power uh, a petrochemical plant. Too many things can go wrong. Uh, pressure, pressure leaks, usually. Something, something blows. I've worked in uh, a chemical plant, and uh, you're talking a few pounds per for pressure on, on a seal before it goes, and you want to make sure that pressure that tank stays within a certain range, because if it goes over, that seal is going to pop, and what you got in there, you don't want to splatter inside the, of the cell. <clears throat> and all the, all, all the time you're wearing a chemical suit with air being fed from over there, way over there, into your suit. Um, that's dangerous. And, well, at the company I worked for, you, you had a week of safety training ahead of time. But still, it's um, one of the um, industries that you work in is very dangerous. And if, if everything gears the right way, perfect. If something goes wrong, <clears throat> it can be dangerous. Uh, did I ever see something go wrong? Yep, 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 yes, yes. But nobody was killed. <clears throat> and you have to write it up. You get a stick, st stack of papers to write these things up. Something went wrong. <sighs> yes. As I said, you can get killed, killed in death. And chemistry is very dangerous because even freshman chemistry. I always sat in the back of the class um, because, as I told the instructor, I want to see, I want to be able to duck if one of my fellow students does something stupid. She said, oh, what do you mean? Well, one day at, at her class, one of those students did something stupid and caused a fire. So, yes, in a chemical plant, it's, it's dangerous. But the pay is very good because this is a high-risk thing. And as, as a, when I was hired for this, as a chemical engineer, um, they knew my background. My boss knew my background. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, I know how, how you people get trained, but I still got had to get a week of training there. Oh, yeah, because it was, the chemicals that I was handling was really toxic, corrosive, flammable, and all the bad things about it. Because there was a MSDS, say is it, MSDS, 30-page um, on, on the product I was handling, or products I was handling. But, hey, the pay was pretty good. Basically, it's the best I ever got in my life. And if they asked me to come back, I would most likely go back, even though I've been retired for 
20 years.